Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. I just want to do a quick recap of our setups that we had for Friday, or sorry, Tuesday, February February 22nd. This will be a really quick video just to give you a rundown to see if we could have played them, or if nothing triggered, or if we would have got stopped out. So there's about 20 plays. We'll go through them real quick here. TD was the first one. Here was our trigger here. We did not break it, so there would have been no play on TD. And it was a red day. I hope you guys were green, were able to be green. Uh, I know I took a couple trades on Spy, and I took uh, KDP Keurig. I took it long uh, on, a, on the weekly chart. So here's another one. Goldman Sachs did not trigger. MGM did not trigger. You can see we had our trigger here. We did not cross it. So again, no plays, no harm, no foul. And if you guys didn't have any trades today, that's perfectly fine too. You didn't lose, okay? You might not have gained any money, but you didn't lose any. So it's not a terrible thing. Morgan Stanley, we crossed our trigger and then we retraced. Uh, that would have been, you would have been stopped out there. So you would have had a losing trade on that one, most likely, unless you took profits. Which is what happened with me uh, on one trade. I didn't quite get to the target, you'll see on SPY. But I sold anyways because if I run into profits and it's 10% plus, I'm, I'm probably taking it. Netflix, um, we gapped down. Or did we? We opened and then went down below. So Netflix, you would have had a play here. Looks like it was a little bit of a gap, but you probably still could have played Netflix and made some really good money on Netflix. Roku, we called this one out. So we had a two down. Okay, there was a big, big gap here, but we had a two down. Opened the morning here at 112.90 or in that range, 113.08. And we obviously didn't hit this target here, but... Really, really good money would have been made here on Roku. Okay, so you had a really good setup there and a really good play on Roku if you played it. Starbucks. Again, we didn't break the trigger. Looks like we just tagged the line. So Starbucks, we would not have had a trade there. Walmart. Here's another one you guys would have made money on. Again, this is a really big bar to try and hit with a target. So this is another one. If I, I didn't play Walmart, but if I would have, I would have been taking profits. Again, somewhere in this range as soon as we crossed that trigger. But we had full time frame to the downside. We had a two up that finished red. And we broke the trigger, okay, of 137.18. And you guys would have made really, really good money on Walmart as well. XOM. XOM, we opened up top, so we gapped up. Okay, so I, I wouldn't have played this on a trigger because when we opened, we were already above this, our trigger, this yellow line. We opened way up here, and then we retraced. Now, you could have used the 50% marker um, and played an outside bar on XOM. So that's a Sarah Strat sniper thing is the 50% rule. Again, same thing would have happened on Chevron. We opened, gapped up on the open, and we retraced all the way back down. And I just want to go check the 15-minute chart here. If we hop back to the opening. In this first 15 minutes, we opened and we came back all the way down. We almost tagged. So if this is me, I probably would have jumped in here if I was if I was playing the 50% rule. 
I probably would have jumped in as soon as we crossed below here, and I would have stayed in this trade until that gap got filled, which would have been here. So you could have made money here. Again, this inside bar going up, you could have made money. Inside bar going up, you could have made money. Inside bar all the way down, you could have made money. Two up reversal, you could have made really good money. So Chevron, you could have made money all day on Chevron. Uh, I just wanted to go through that with you guys real quick. There's there's always trades. There's hundreds and thousands of trades that you guys can play every day. This is just an example of them. Of how easy Chevron would have been able been to play today. Okay, you would have had plenty of opportunities to play Chevron today. We'll go back to the daily and go check out the rest of our plays, our setups, and and how they looked. Cisco, we had a outside bar. Our trigger was down below. I picked only this down below. Sorry, we have a high and a low that I chose. This was also on the weekly. This pink one was a weekly trigger, but we did not trigger anything. So Cisco will be on my plays for today just because we have a 3-1 setup. Holy Grail from Trading Wars. Uh, outside bar, inside bar, okay? It's a powerful setup. So we'll be looking at Cisco for sure tomorrow to have a move. Tattooed Chef. We were looking for a two up on Tattooed Chef. It didn't materialize. We have an inside bar. So again, TTCF. Tattooed Chef will be something I will be looking at. We have to remain, remain aware that on the weekly and the monthly, we do have inside bars. That's what these yellow dots are showing around the arrows. So Dental Corp was one of the ones that I said we were running into exhaustion here based on the broadening formation. We had not quite tagged it, but we tagged it on the open, went back through, and came back up. So Dental Corp, I'll be looking for a reversal to the upside on Dental Corp tomorrow, okay? So your trigger will be around 14.65. ESI, I thought would retrace to the high side. Okay, it was an energy play and or, uh, oil oil play, energy play. And all of these kind of retraced and created outside bars for themselves and Chevron and, and ESI and and Exxon. They all, they all created uh, outside bars. So this did the same thing. We gapped up in the morning, opened here, and we came all the way back down to here. So again, ESI could be on our setups for, t for tomorrow, the high and the low of this outside bar. XEL, outside bar, inside bar. So it was a 3-1 setup for going into today. And now we have a double inside bar, which is a super rare pattern. We have established that we have time frame to the downside. So this will be a play that I will be looking at strongly today or for tomorrow's plays. I'm going to move these indicators now. Those are our new triggers for tomorrow with a double inside bar. Okay, so that's showing a ton of consolidation on XL Energy. So we can look for that one tomorrow as well as a really good setup. XOP, same thing. Energy play, oil and gas, uh, outside bar. Everything that was oil and gas created this outside bar today. It was all the same. So again, we, we were above the trigger, but we were above the trigger at open. So this is not something I would have played. You could have, if we go to the 15 minute, and we can see how it materialized. If we're on the 15 minute, okay, this is a great example. This is the opening 15 minute bar. Okay, and we opened here, came up, and then trended down. And then the very next bar, we broke the low. You could look at this as we broke the low. You could look at this as the two up that was red, and we just had a continuation. Inside bar, down, 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 inside bar. We could be down all day long. You would, would have made really, really good money on XOP today. And that's it, guys. Uh, check out the videos coming up later tonight for our day trade setups tomorrow. I'm really excited to bring them to you. Make sure you guys tune in, subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below. Follow me on Twitter at 
Mr. Clark Griswold. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.